Margie is fab and today I'm going to be talking about my favorite skincare products and my kind of like face routine I guess you could say so let's get started now of course with any video like this sometimes stuff works for you that doesn't work for me and vice versa you should definitely definitely first before anything contact a doctor a dermatologist your physician and get a recommendation from them first they're gonna be able to let you know things that I'm not gonna be able to let you know I mean I've done my research I know it works for me makes my skin look better feel good smell nice whatever they are going to be able to give you doctor prescribed things they might be able to recommend things from the drugstore that work well that are really good for your skin and they might also be able to prescribe you something so I mean I get little breakout I have oily skin I get little breakouts but I don't have like cystic acne um, I don't have um, like I have a couple of little fine lines but I don't have lots of wrinkles so you definitely want to talk to a dermatologist before you do anything or take advice from anyone so first things first we're going to get started with masks now I am a girl so you know whether a mask works or not I'm still using it and I'm getting my wine and I'm watching the Sopranos and I am relaxing for sure these are relaxing but I really like this brand and I really like these masks this first one is a peel off face mask it is a cucumber one by the brand called Freeman um, I love this it's supposed to clarify and renew your skin and probably put a little moisture into it um, I don't really care. It's really, really cooling. Whenever it's hot out, I really like to use this mask or when I just get home from work sometimes and I'm home alone or I just want to chill or whatever, I use this mask. It is a peel off, so you put it on, it's like a gel, it soaks down, then you peel it off. Now the other one I have is the anti-stress clay mask. It has like dead sea minerals in it. This is a 10 minute mask where you put it on, you let it dry for 10 minutes, and then you wash it off with some warm water. I usually use this one in the morning right before I'm about to go do whatever I'm going to do, hop in the shower, I'll put this on, I will brush my hair, wash my teeth, make myself an omelet, and then I will get in the shower and I will rinse this off in the shower. This one is good too. This one smells really nice. I love the smell of this one. And this is great for oily skin. Any kind of clay mask is wonderful for oily skin. And these are from the drugstore. So you can get these for like 2 or $3. And they're huge. I mean, they'll last me for a long time. Um, and I love, love, love this one. Um, because it doesn't leave my face feeling totally stripped. It actually makes my face really, really soft. And I love that. And I love this. And... If you were feeling kind of salty because you didn't get your Glam Glow Sonic the Hedgehog Blue Mud Mask, this one, I know this is gross to look at, but this one is blue. So you will be cute and ready to go for the Gram, honey. Next thing is two facial cleansers I use once I'm in the shower. I've rinsed off my mask. I use the First Aid Beauty or Fab Beauty Facial Skin Cleanser. Now, I love this. When I went looking for a cleanser, I wanted something that was cut and dry. I just wanted something to take my makeup off, not make my face feel stripped of oils, be natural, and have a little bit of vitamins or something in it. I didn't need a bunch of frills and trills and all this. I seen something cut and dry and this is cut and dry. There's no fragrance in it. It's hypoallergenic. It leaves my skin feeling soft and not stripped. I used a Neutrogena's Natural and that was horrific. Like my face felt so tight after and I would put on like toner and astringent and stuff and my face would burn and I would be like, I this is how it's supposed to feel so I switched to this and I'm never going back it's hypoallergenic which I didn't really mean it's also sensitive and it's like a uh, not sensitive skin sensitive and it's allergy tested so if that's something that is important to you 
check it out. I don't really need that, but it's a bonus. And then I don't use this very often. I kind of use it every couple of days or maybe once a week, but I use this Equate brand. It's a blemish control facial scrub. It's compared to like the St. Ives apricot scrub, but I just got this one because it was like $2. It's oil-free, dermatologist tested, paraben free. Um, it clears blackheads, cleanses pores. It has a little bit of acne medication in it, which is good. I mean, I don't need a lot of acne medication, but I do tend to get blemishes every so often just because I do work in a restaurant. I'm in a very hot, sweaty, oily, smoky environment. So it's really good to use this. I like it because it's, uh, it doesn't have an overwhelming smell. It's very natural. I just, and you can't go wrong. It's $2. After I get out of the shower, I use the best moisturizer I have found thus far. And it is the Beauchat Revitalizing Black Hydration Gel. Um, gels are wonderful for people with oily skin. They don't leave you clogged like lotions do. Um, and they're very lightweight and they almost dry down pretty quickly. I love this one. This one was recommended to me by a skincare expert at Sephora. So um, basically it looks like this. It has like a little belly button or like little like butthole and then you just press down like the smallest amount and like a little like here I'll show you like a little like a little dupe little dupe will come out and you just wipe it off the top it is black I mean to flick you off and um, you just rub it into your skin like this so yes it, it is black so please don't scream like my mom did <laughs> once when I told her she should use it. Um, this just feels so soft. It's a great AM and PM one. Um, I just can't say enough good things about it. It's it on the back it says a cooling gel moisturizer which it is cooling provides ultra light hydration which it does and refined skin texture brightens skin clarity and minimizes the look of pores instantly and over time which is true and let me give you my testimony once i you know got ready i was going to go see my grandma so you know i did my whole face routine i put this on you know put my hair in a bun put everything on got ready went over her house probably had been about 20 minutes let's say since i had put the moisturizer on because she lives like right down the road and my grandma's like your skin looks amazing and i was like thank you it's my new moisturizer so <laughs> and that's a little dramatic but it you do it's like that you do notice a difference right away it starts to shrink down which is so nice because i do have really deep pores that people could fall into so i love this and it's quick drying it again doesn't clog me because sometimes when i use like lotion moisturizers um, it, I would get little like white heads everywhere and stuff from just being clogged pores and that always left me so oily where this doesn't leave you oily at all and honestly I love this one so much but there's so many other gel um, like moisturizers out there Clinique has one Lancome has one they're very easy to find uh, this one the this one is kind of in the mid price range. This is $38. I got it from Sephora um, So it's not like the most expensive like the Lancome one was 50 But it's not like the cheapest like I'm sure you could find something at a drugstore But this is just what works for me. It's moisturizing. It's pore minimizing It has a little bit of like age defiance in it and that's basically what I wanted. So if you are looking for a skincare product, go to Sephora. They will help you. They will put in like what you want out of moisture because not everybody wants that from a moisturizer. That's what I want. Not everybody wants that. So, but if you got oily skin, you don't like this. The next thing I do use because, okay, I'm Puerto Rican. I'm hairy and I have not invested in laser hair removal yet. So I do still shave my face. I know. So I do use this Nivea for Men Sensitive Post Shave Balm. Um, this really helps minimize my look of uh, razor burn. I do use it like a little bit underneath. I know a lot of people liked this because a YouTuber, Nikki Tutorials, talked about how one day she was at her boyfriend's house and her boy and she didn't bring anything with her and she found this in her boyfriend's drawer and she used it. It was like the best moisturizer slash primer. It has a lot of... Um, what is it called? Anyway. This 
is no drying alcohol. It's for sensitive skin. So it's really, really good to minimize the look of pores. It is a nice moisturizer as well. And it is um, a great primer. It's great for priming the face, moisturizing the face. But I do use this more for like sh after shave so that I don't get a lot of razor burn just because the, sen the skin is really sensitive underneath there. And last but not least, before I put my makeup on, I always prep my face with a little bit of MAC Fix Plus. I love MAC Fix Plus. I love the way it smells. I love the bottle it comes in. MAC makes really great products for makeup artists, people traveling. Because look, you twist this little cap. Nothing is coming out of here, my friends. I love this. I know it seems a little silly, but I don't know one makeup person who does not have this. It is bomb. I have another, I have a backup one. That's how much I love this stuff. And it's great. It's definitely nice um, for uh, misting your face if you're kind of hot. Um, or you just need like a refresher, like maybe you're running around doing errands and going to work and going here and there. And you just need a little like tss in your car. This is great. It's great for um, using as a primer. It's great for using as a setting spray. It is great for wetting your brushes if you want more pigment from your eyeshadows. It is good for fixing makeup or revitalizing makeup that is a little dry. It's great. Um, I spray it in my mascara like this. Like I, if this is the mascara, I'll go like tss, 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 and put a few sprays in there because it's great for revitalizing a mascara. You know, I don't recommend you using a mascara on it when it's on its last legs and it smells like a garbage can and it's dry as the desert but if you do or if you're like oh my god I have to run out of the house I need mascara I don't have time to go get one I would recommend using a little pump of this in there and just kind of you know like swirling your brush back and forth and it'll revitalize your makeup I've used it on several ColourPop eyeshadows just because their super shock shadows are so pigmented and so beautiful I love them but they do dry out they do tell you to put the cap on but sometimes they just dry out and so this is how I revitalize them. Um, I can't say enough good things about this. I feel like the dad from My Big Fat Greek Wedding, like when he's like, just put some Windex on it. I'm like, just put some MacFix Plus on it. I love this. So that is all I have for my face routine. It is simple, my friends. I also try to incorporate more water into my diet if you feel like your skin is looking a little dull, a little dry, if you have peely lips. Um, just adding, I mean, adding water to your diet is a great thing anyway, but it's so, so, so beneficial for your skin. It will make your skin look brighter, healthier. I mean, it does that for your whole body anyway. So I do try to incorporate that, and I do try to take vitamins and stuff like that, like a woman's one a day, to help, you know, just my overall balance of chemicals in my body and stuff and just make me feel good. So I hope you liked this video and I hope you enjoyed the products that I've shown you. If you have any questions about anything, feel free to message me, contact me, comment down below. And I hope you all have a fantastic day and that your skin stays looking fabulous. Bye!